Welcome, and last time we already um, built uh, this graphical user interface like this or like this, okay? Using pure Java code, okay? Using pure Java code, just for you to understand that each of the text sphere, the activity, okay? The layout, okay? The text sphere or uh, text sphere, the button and the um, labels here, all of them are some objects of activity class. Um, Java classes or activity Java class, um, editing Java class, button Java class, and text view Java class. Okay, and right now um, 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 we're gonna have another approach of building um, this graphical user interface. It's gonna be a lot easier, which is to use the designer inside Android Studio, or to code the XML layout file, a uh, layout file, or the resource file. Um, what is the resource file? Resource file is anything inside your Android application which is not compilable or is not code okay so we're going to use um, that approach inside here we're going to create um, I'm going to close this one um, um, we're going to create a new okay um, basic views using um, 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 XML and the Android Studio designer next okay you want to choose minimum SDK next um, Last time you already demonstrated um, that uh, no activity, and this time we're going to demonstrate that we're going to click on a blank activity, and this one is gonna generate the um, um this one is gonna be our class is main activity, or this one is basic view, okay, views um, um using XML activity, and it's gonna create automatically a layout name. This one is an XML file for creating for creating the graphical user interface like this using XML. Okay, using XML. So you're going to um, create um, 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 a file which is layout file. Um, this is this file. Okay, it's an XML file. Okay, it's gonna create this XML file. Okay, and okay, and this is the title of that activity we're gonna click on finish okay when this application is created uh, it's going to create us an xml file and also a java file for this activity and also an xml file then this one is an xml file okay and uh, of course you're gonna have your java file here as well okay and also inside the manifest your activity is declared automatically here Okay, with your Android names, which is a class name. Okay, the label is the title of that. Then also, okay, um, sorry. okay the label is the title of that. And then, then also, then also um, the intent filter, which is you have the um, accent. So this intent is a message to activate this activity uh, and filter to fill or filter out what kind of message is going to be able to activate this activity so um, the action that can uh, of the intent that can activate this activity is kind of main means it's a main entry point of the application and it may not need any data to start then the category is uh, the icon of this activity is going to be displayed on um, the um, 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 launcher screen okay launcher screen Okay. Then uh, we're gonna change this one to Nexus Five. Then um, um, I'm gonna use XML to design the same graphical user interface like this. Okay, sorry, graphical user interface like this. Okay, instead of using Java code like what we did last time, it's very um, heavy code. So actually, we're going to use XML to design to declare. Okay, to declare this button. Okay, to declare XML about um, button okay, inside next XML we'll declare a button we're going to declare about um, 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 the um, 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 edit text and the text view as well okay those components okay using XML okay using XML so we're going to use the designer here and look at the I'm gonna collapse this one for some spaces. Collapse this one, collapse this one. Then we're going to drag in and drop a button. Now you'll see when you release a button, you'll see that it's centrally um, vertical and ho horizontally vertical. Release the, the mouse, you'll have this one, you have the button. Okay, and when you do the drag and drop using the designer, you'll see that inside the XML file, you have our relative layout. Okay, declare here. You have the button is declared here. 
um, we have our relative layout as well okay we have our relative layout here as well okay relative layout in this XML file you have a button that it, it, it detects and that takes view oh, sorry a button okay it's declared inside here then you know that button you're going to have server of the properties um, um, this one the width is layout parameters okay i already explained about layout parameters which is parameters for the layout determine the the size of the um, 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 button and its grab content the haze is grab content then the text on it is new button now okay and the button is button and we're going to change this to um, information in order to change it to information we're going to click on the design and you're gonna double click on this one and you can change the text now into press me okay and you're going to change the button into btn button press me this one is for generating the name for the id of this button okay the id not the, the variable java variable name this id okay so you have the button press me appearing inside here Okay. button press me inside appearing inside here okay then if you um, um uh, if you run this one okay. if you run this one if you run this one um uh, and click on okay to use this one use the same device next time okay then see that you have draw basic views um, um xml activity and it has a button here which is a press me button okay the button press me here is actually generated um, as a java object okay so what happening is similar to what we create the java objects um, you created a button here inside xml the relative layout here inside xml but when you compile the application okay android is going to create corresponding object for the layout okay object uh, uh, as an object of relative layout and set it to this one it's going to generate um, a object a button okay and set it here with its layout parameter so it's going to be placed centrally here based on the property based on the properties you specify from the xml okay from the xml okay let's say with its grab content the height is grab content is center vertically center horizontally and it's going to generate the id with this name button press me for the button and it said the text press me for the button okay. Okay. okay talking of using the design there is another advanced approach that you should know from this design so i'm going to zoom this one up a little bit so if we um, click on this button and you see this light bulb appearing here hinted so if you click on this light bulb and she this one is internationalization i18n and internationalization means you can use some key for this text appearing here Okay, you can use some key for the text appearing inside here um, instead of using the string directly, string constant directly. So if you click on this one, um, we can generate some keys, which is a string for uh, button press me um, um, text. Okay, and this one is in form of values. And if you click on this one, you know, what you see from here is actually the key. What you see from here is actually the key. So if you see from text, it's actually it's gonna put the key of the string. What is that key of the string inside your resource? Okay, inside your resource, it's gonna create uh, inside your project, inside resource folder. You have the values here, and you have the string definition as form of XML file, and you define a resource with this key and this values. Okay, so so this one is um, a good hub for internationalization because you can just simply change the resource values here and keep the same key. Your um, um your how to say uh, button will change. Okay, but that one you need to when in order to use it you need to compile it. Okay, so you need to compile the resource and use. So we can click on this refresh. Okay, click on this refresh button and right now you have to press me uh, later on in order to change the text you can just change the string constants i'm sorry the string values here it's, it's a good help for internationalization internationalization okay then we have our button okay similarly you're gonna drag in a text here okay once more once more if you have this button you can use a designer or you can code the xml file automatically but then later on when you compile it's going to generate okay it's generate the button object 
just like what you see from uh, my previous um, example, okay, uh, uh, button Java object, okay, it give it this ID, okay, then it give it this text from the string resource, okay, it's centered vertically centered, and the contents is gonna be graph content, so the size is graph content for the layout properties, and if you click on the design here, similarly you can drag in a text sphere, this is an eighty text, and you can place this here. Above on the left and above there on the left, not on the right of the button here on the left of the screen and above button press me. Okay, if you release right now, the content now is 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 a wrap content, and I want the width to expand it to match parent. So you can click on this button to to um, bring it match parent. Okay, see, or you can go to component tree and you'll see um, the properties over here, which is the layout parameters. Okay, layout parameters. Okay, layout parameters. Where is the layout parameters? Um, layout. Okay, you will see the layout parameters here. You will see light out uh, parameter layout. Um, where is that one? Layout width. Well, here it's now it's wrap content. You can change it to match parent. Okay, match parent. It's gonna change. Okay, or or you just click on this button. It's gonna work. Okay, click on this button. Match parent. Match height. Okay, then you um, um, finish designing this um, one. And similarly, you're gonna double click on this one and change the um, ID of this one, which is txt name. Okay, txt name. Similarly, you're going to uh, drag the um, um, uh, um, 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 text view. Okay, you're gonna drag it in a plain text view, and I wanna I would like to place it below this. Um, press me button and on the left so this one is now it's um, on the left of the press me I want to bring it on the left of the screen so I want to move it this way you see so you see observe the around on the left side of the screen and the uh, around um, below the button press me there to show you that to say that it's below the button press me it's, and it's on the left side okay now I have this one okay and I'm gonna double click on this one and name this one is message Okay, this one is um, 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 welcome message here. Okay, and this one I'm gonna name it as text view, text view um, um, welcome message, enter. Okay, welcome message. So we, we finish designing this um, interface, and you can look at the XML code generated for here. Okay, so we have um, the XML file, the, the relative layout, the um, button, the edit text, and the text view. And when you compare, the relative layout is going to be um, generated as an object of the relative layout added inside here. The button will be generated added into here. The edit text is going to be generated as an object and a Java object and added into here. Text view is going to be generated Java object and, and enter it into here. And some of them are going to be able to set the ID okay, correspondingly when we compare okay when we compare the project so if you already observe the previous um, approach of the previous, my previous videos okay i create that graphic user interface using java code very complicated okay very complicated but if we use xml layout and um, use a designer you could create this graphical user interface very easily okay with layout parameters um, and, and and layout and layout parameters too and um, if you run this application, if you run this application now, wait for gratitude to build, okay? And you have your graphical user interface built, okay? And you can compare the graphical user interface, which is exactly like what we did with two or three videos in case of we code the graphical interface in Java purely. But what I did in previous videos, which is coding the graphical user interface purely, is to show you that these are actually objects of some Java classes. They generate it for you when Android compile the um, application. It's gonna compile the XML file. Okay, the XML file and build that graphical interface. Okay. And from that one you will also understand the difference between its own proteins, let's say its ID and its text, comparing to um, its layout parameters, which is about the position of it or the size of it. Are belonging to layout parameters. Okay, layout parameters. Okay. In the next video, we'll talk about 
event and event handling so that if you input let's say meter i and you um, click on press me it should show the message over here 